All right, we're going for a ride. And uh, there it is. Oh my gosh, and just in time. Those boilers just exploded. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Stormworks and I'm checking out this really cool looking ship. This is the SS Celtic. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now this ship actually comes with two versions, one as a full version, so it's got all the interior, and then one that doesn't have all the interior for those that are struggling a little bit with performance. Today we're going to be running with the full version on low physics settings, so uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the engine room and uh, yeah, start it up. Now here we are and this is a really impressive engine room. Look at all of this machinery. But anyways, here we have the boilers, so let's go ahead and light these up. Now with those starting to build some pressure, we can actually start up the uh, engines here, so we'll get them going forward. So there we are, and as you can see, the uh, pistons are moving. So I'm pretty sure if we go outside, the paddle wheels will be spinning. And let's take a look. We are moving, and that splashing definitely means the paddle wheels are going. Now, the ship's turning radius actually surprises me. I would imagine it would go a bit slower, but no, it actually is pretty responsive. And one of the other things we can do is actually throw this paddle wheel into reverse, and then we can turn even faster. So, there you go. Pretty cool trick there, but let's get this back up to full speed, and we'll go explore some of the ship's interiors. So let's start out with the first class spaces. As you can see, we've got a staircase going down. But let's just quickly take a look at what's up here. So we've got some cabins here. They uh, look pretty nice. As you can see, we've got a pretty good view outside. So going down the stairs, we've got... Uh, oh, wow. We've got a nice seating area. And going this way, we've got a crew space. And we have the auxiliary helm. So if something went wrong with the bridge, uh, we could come down here and sort of control the ship that way. So that's good. Going further down the stairs, we've got another seating area, maybe a dining space. And this leads to the engine room. So here we are again. Going from there, we're going to go past the boiler room. And now we're nearing the very front of the ship. And we've got a cargo space. Going directly up from there, we've actually got a second class entrance. Not as elaborate as first class, but still pretty good. Let's take a look at the cabin here. Definitely a lot less, um, well, furnished but it gets the job done. Going down from there, we've got another space, and we don't have a porthole for these cabins, so we might actually be under the waterline. And then we have first class again. Going this way, we've got an interior first class cabin. Back up on the main deck, let's go into the officer's quarters. So this is what an officer's cabin looks like. As you can see, it is um, fairly detailed with a great view. You've got sort of this uh, curved wall here with uh, these uh, three windows. And here we have the officer's mess. So it's uh, basically just a long table with uh, some seats and a light. And here we have the officer's galley. It wraps around here, so we have a pantry in the middle. And then we have another side to the kitchen. Just after there, we've got another first class space. So um, we got some crew stairs leading down. And then we are back to where we started. So... That's not everything on this ship. This is only a small portion of the vessel, but it gives you a basic understanding of what the interiors look like. And if you want to check this build out for yourself, a link will be in the description. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's sink the ship. Now here it is. Let's go ahead and let's turn the key. Now, if you're wondering where to find it, it is in the captain's cabin in the crew quarters. So uh, there we go. The ship is now starting to sink. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my way down below and see if there's anything abnormal. Water flooding in or some sort of damage. So, uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. We got a dumbwaiter. Now, if you're wondering what that is, it's basically for uh, food or trays or uh, whatever. You put it on there and uh, it will raise and lower it. So let's say if you need a sack of potatoes or something heavy and you don't want to bring them up the stairs, well, you use this mini elevator. All right. So I'm in the engine room and good news... There doesn't seem to be any issues. I mean, well, actually, I don't know if that was happening before, but uh, yeah, we got something going on there. You know, the good news is, is the ship is running. Oh, I was about to say fine until I saw the massive amount of water that is now collected on the floor. And unfortunately, there's nothing stopping it from traversing into this space. 
So, yeah, we've got a little bit of an issue. However, it may come as a surprise that that amount of water is bringing the ship down to a point where these portholes are under the waterline. But luckily, we can always call the stewards. I don't know how that's going to resolve anything, but it's worth a shot. Now, what I am really concerned about is those boilers. Now, as you know, a very hot boiler and very cold water do not mix. Uh, and when they do, it usually results in a massive explosion. So, yeah. With this ship being made out of wood, that's not good. Now, luckily, the water is um, barely breaching the boilers. But I would say this is a good point to stop the ship and completely abandon. So here's how you do it. You actually grab that connector and then, well, you can just release the boat from there. All right, we're going for a ride, and uh, there it is. Oh my gosh, and just in time. Those boilers just exploded, or um, maybe imploded. Don't know how the physics works there, but uh, there was definitely something going on, and it did not sound good. All right, where was the explosion? Oh, I see. So it was this set of boilers here, which ultimately means these ones are next. Now these also happen to be powering the only steam left in the ship. So once those go, the lights are surely going to go next. So I'm going to get my flashlight ready. It is a little bit eerie to be walking around in a ship that will be on the bottom of the ocean in a very short while. Here we have the steward's accommodation. Wow, look at this. Lots of bunks. And look at this. This is the uh, call button annunciator panel for uh, all of the cabins in the ship. So if you ring your uh, steward call button, it will actually illuminate a light on this panel. And we can see that cabin C12 is illuminated. Luckily, there's nothing wrong with the ship, so um, we're just gonna turn that light off. No need to fear, passengers. Nothing has gone wrong. Hopping back up to the bridge, I've got some disappointing news. The ship is sinking. Well, I guess that's an understatement, but the entire bow of the ship is now gone. So, um, yeah, this is definitely not looking good. Oh my gosh, well, this space is somehow not flooded yet. And I'm pretty sure this is what's keeping the ship up. And oh, look at this. We've got the uh, elevator here, the um, dumb waiter, and it is filling with water and spilling out onto the floor. And uh, oh my gosh, now we've got water flooding out of the kitchen and I would imagine down the stairs and into this space. So um, definitely a bad situation going on. The angle at this point can no longer be ignored. And speaking about that, it seems as if the ship is now beginning its plunge. So, uh, here we go. I'm gonna swim to a lifeboat. And what's really cool is all of the lights are still on. So, um, yeah. And here we have a view right next to the ship. And you can see the rudder there. Now, I didn't see all of the interiors of the ship. But if you want to do that yourself, a link will be in the description. And, uh, just as a reminder, there are two versions. There is a light version, which uh, is better on performance, which has most of the interior. So, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.